Hello everyone and welcome back to the good stuff. We are back in 1858 in uh, Morphy's uh, Blindfold Simultaneous Exhibition where he faces eight uh, uh, very, very strong adversaries and uh, his opponent in this game is uh, Yabes Tsar. He was the secretary of the Leamington Chess Club and something very uh, weird happened. He actually got this idea that he should try and confuse Morphy by playing weird moves. He thought that Okay, maybe Morphy was just winning all of his games because he knew uh, all the variations by heart. So maybe he, he's just gonna, you know, play something really weird and confuse Morphy as he is playing blindfold. So here, uh, really, really wild game. And also, uh, maybe a reminder how not to play chess. And also, uh, in the previous game, I told you that uh, I would uh, remake the video if you guys sent me a photo of uh, John Rhodes. Uh, and a lot of you actually sent me a photo of John Rhodes, but some... Uh, John Rhodes that actually lives today uh, and uh, you know not for example in 1858 you send me like full uh, high resolution high quality color photo uh, that's not really what I asked for but thank you for for all the trouble you went through for finding um, uh, such a gentleman and his photo uh, now getting back to this game uh, Morphe with the white pieces opens with e4 uh, sorry about that uh, we have h6, uh, the beginning of the confusion begins now, and this is actually in theory called the Tsar defense. So h6, we have d4, and now a5, playing on the other side of the board. Uh, it's not all that meaningless, he does actually have an idea of what he's doing here, uh, but it's uh, still, you know, uh, to, to play this against someone like Morphe, uh, we, we'll see what happens. Morphe continues development, bishop d6, and now b6. Now Tsar wants to play bishop to a6 and trade off uh, his light square bishop for Morphe's light square bishop. So Morphe just continues developing. Uh, knight to e2, he doesn't want to go knight to f3, he wants to be able to push the pawn to f4 uh, whenever needed. We have e6, uh, and now Morphe just castles. And now bishop to a6. So uh, as... Uh, uh, Lowenthal, who was uh, annotating the games, he said that uh, all of this is just uh, played to try and confuse the blindfold Morphe. Uh, but Morphe just continues developing. We have c4, uh, knight to f6 now, and uh, e5. Again, pushing the knight back. Knight to h7, and now f4. And the black's pieces aren't doing all that great. Uh, actually, none of them are. This knight is stuck here, can't really go anywhere. Uh, the bishop on a6, not, not the greatest of pieces. Uh, but okay, uh, the game is still young. Bishop to e7, preparing to castle kingside, and now knight to g3. And now Morphe has full control of the f5 square. Uh, if black ever decides to castle kingside, he can just bust open the position with f5. Uh, we have d5 by Tsar, and now uh, queen to g4. Uh, I forgot to mention if there are any uh, of, new, of you who are new to the channel. Uh, since we don't have a photo of Yabes Tsar, I'm also wearing a hoodie to honor uh, the hoodie guy who always plays the greatest of games. So queen to g4, going after that g7 pawn, and here... Uh, there really aren't all that great uh, many moves here. G6, you could try and play something like this, uh, but then even ideas like Bishop Captures and G6 come to mind. So here, uh, Tsar just castled, but now uh, Morphe goes for it. Knight to H5. And now uh, Morphe is already threatening checkmate, so you have to defend it. Uh, we have G5, and now F Captures and G5. H Captures and G5. And now, as Lowenthal mentioned uh, while annotating the game, uh, Black has indeed placed himself in a deplorable condition in vainly attempting to puzzle his antagonist. And here, uh, Morphe is completely winning and he actually has a forced checkmate in 8 moves. Uh, Morphe played something else, he actually played a mate in 9. Uh, but if you feel like it, you know, you are comfortable in your own home, uh, feel free to pause the video and try to find uh, a forced mate in 8 sequence for Morphe uh, while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on beating Morphe to the punch as you've uh, uh, checkmated Tsar uh, a move before Morphe. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's uh, not Bishop Captures on H7. That's what Morphe played. Uh, it's actually Knight to F6 check. And now the point is uh, the Bishop and Queen no longer guard the G5 pawn. If Black doesn't react to this, you can just pick up the pawn and that's it. Uh, not, not much uh, for, for Black to do there. Or even just Queen to H5 if, for example, King to H8 is played. The point is you have to capture the Knight. And after Bishop captures an F6, now Queen to H5. And this is the whole point. Now you've blocked the F5 pawn. The F5 pawn cannot be played. Uh, this is the threat of checkmate and the knight has nowhere to go. All of the squares are blocked. So here you have to play rook e8 to make some room for the king. But now comes check. Uh, queen captures on h7. King f8. 
and rook captures an f6 and that's it this is the threat of checkmate after you defend it now comes bishop to g5 and here it's just game over uh, whatever you do uh, it's uh, it's just gonna go to queen to h8 king here and then the rook will move delivering check doesn't matter what uh, black plays because there are no good moves here if rook c8 we're just gonna show it as it is beautiful uh, queen to h8 check king to e7 and now the amazing rook captures on e6 a double check forcing black to capture the rook as the queen covers the entire back rank queen, uh, king captures and now queen to f6 is checkmate so congratulations to everyone who found this but to anyone who played Morphe's move uh, that's also perfectly fine as uh, you know Morphe was playing blindfold so we can uh, excuse him for not going for the absolute quickest way of checkmating his opponent so bishop captures on h7 was played and now of course if you capture then again we have this knight to f6 check bishop captures and queen h5 check uh, king to g8 and now rook captures on f6 uh, it's not much better not not much for for uh, uh, black to, uh, to to accomplish here even just the rook here to here will be checkmate and even if you give up the queen it's still not enough you can make room for let's say the king you move but just queen h6 and that's it uh, black is getting checkmated so here after Morphe's bishop captures on h7 we have king to h8 uh, not capturing but still knight f6 the threat is still queen h5 and everything is the same d captures on c5 uh, there is no good move here for black and now bishop back to c2 first clearing uh, the uh, the way for the uh, for the white queen but this actually allows black uh, at least a little bit of hope because he can prolong the game now uh, Morphe probably missed this playing blindfold and it doesn't really help black but it does prolong the game uh, queen captures on d4 with check uh, a temporary queen sacrifice because he will win it back queen captures on d4 and now bishop to c5 uh, pins the queen and now morphe has to give back the queen so queen captures on c5 b captures and now uh, bishop captures on g5 so black survived a little bit longer uh, but it's not enough morphe's position is much better and also uh, he's up uh, much uh, much more material uh, so here knight to c6 and now just rook to f3 here it's actually a forced checkmate in seven and morphe instantly finds it uh, even playing blindfold uh, rook to f3 uh, and after king to g7 not allowing rook to h3 to come with check uh, feel free to pause the video for the last time and try to find the absolute quickest way to win it's actually a force made in six so while i give you a couple of seconds So uh, uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations, as this is not an easy one to find. And uh, for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's uh, bishop to h6 with check. Uh, knight to e8 check also works. Knight to h5 check also works. Uh, but this is the quickest, and this is in fact what Morphe played. So it's a temporary bishop sacrifice. If you decline the sacrifice, it's even faster. Just rook h3, and next the bishop to f8 is checkmate. Even if you move the rook, bishop to f8 is still checkmate. That's why it's so it's so uh, nice. So after bishop to h6 check, uh, king captures, and now comes rook to h3 check. Uh, again, doesn't matter where you go. If king g7, then rook to h7 is checkmate. So you have to go down the board. Uh, king to g5, and now comes rook to h5 with check. King to f4, and now uh, Morphe finishes the game in a beautiful fashion. King to f2, uh, he gains the opposition, takes away the e3 square from the black king, and it's checkmate on the next move. And it was, in fact, in this position uh, that his opponent, Yabastar, resigned the game. And as you can see, he wasn't able to confuse Morphe even a little bit, uh, let alone embarrass him. Uh, but uh, yeah, here it's mate on the next move. Of course, g3 checkmates uh, the black king. Or if you really want to be that person, yes, rook to g8 prolongs the game. Then we can sacrifice the rook. And yes, h captures on g3. It's only now checkmate. Uh, but of course, uh, Yabistar was not that person. He resigned here. And again, uh, a wonderful victory for Morphe uh, in this uh, blindfold simultaneous exhibition. And I don't think after this game, anyone uh, ever tried to confuse Morphe uh, in a... Uh, in any contest, let alone, uh, let alone a blindfold one. Uh, so yeah, uh, once again, uh, a wonderful victory for Morphe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Andrew Nelson, uh, Ever David Beltran Pinto, uh, Budendra Shukla, Pete McDonald, and Stephen Davies for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check uh, two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you soon. Uh, continuing the coverage of the Morphe saga. Checking up on your wonderful suggestions and whatever else happens in the chess world. Uh, so thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day.